Arsenal have let Meza Ozil's contract run out in the summer. So he can leave on a free transfer and inevitably he was always going to be linked with moves to big clubs. And Manchester United's name has cropped up. But as always, this is not the first time this has happened. So what this video is, is a full story on Meza Ozil to Manchester United. Where did the rumours come from? What's the context? And could Ozil really be following in the footsteps of Robin Van Persie and moving to Old Trafford? Let's get into the story. Now, back in November 2016, The Sun, they published an article saying that Mourinho was eyeing up a move for Ozil because of the contract standoff between Arsenal and Meza Ozil. Obviously, he's, his contract now expires in this summer, but Arsenal have been negotiating and trying to get him to sign an extension, but he just hasn't done it. And this is not the first time this has happened to Arsenal. And what was clear is that Ozil was playing his position and being very clever with his tactics. Because then in December 2016, Meza Ozil, he was interviewed by Marca, or at least he was asked a question by Marca, the Spanish newspaper Pro Real Madrid. They asked him if there was any chance of a return to Real Madrid. He simply said, you never know, with a cheeky smile on his face. Meza Ozil playing the transfer game to a tee, in full swing now. What he wants is noise around his name. He wants Real Madrid to be linked, Barcelona to be linked, Bayern Munich, Man United, Man City, Liverpool, anybody to pump up the interest in Meza Ozil, strengthens his negotiation position with Arsenal for a new contract and also gets the word out there that Ozil is available. So that is definitely in full swing from December last year. And then fast forward to September 2017, the Mirror publishes an article saying that it's not just Mourinho wanting Ozil, Ozil wants Manchester United and that his advisors have put the feelers out there to see about a potential move to Old Trafford. So we've got reports saying that Ozil is interested. We've got reports saying that Mourinho is interested. That's both sides of the coin. And then we find ourselves in October to the story that everybody is talking about this week. Miguel Delaney writing for The Independent says that Manchester United intend to make a move for Meza Ozil in the summer transfer window. Now, in January, United could negotiate a pre-contract agreement with Meza Ozil, which means that in January, a deal is agreed. Ozil will get his massive signing in on bonus because he's a free agent. Ozil will get the contract with Manchester United and a transfer will be agreed that wouldn't happen until the summertime. Now, could that happen? That's the big question mark. There's two big question marks over this. Could it happen? And would it be the right thing if it were to happen? Now, looking at the could it happen, Jose Mourinho, he previously signed Meza Ozil. 2010, that's when Mourinho became Real Madrid's boss. He brought, he brought Meza Ozil to Real Madrid after his fantastic performances for Germany at the World Cup. And he was great that year, but their relationship was not 100% rosy. You look at Meza Ozil's autobiography, it was published in, I think, March 2017. There's a very particular extract in there which talks about Meza Ozil and his relationship with Jose Mourinho. Now, in his book, Meza Ozil describes an argument that he had with Mourinho that was all based around his work ethic. In that argument, Mourinho said to Ozil, you think two beautiful passes are enough. You think you're so good that 50% is enough. And to build the drama, uh, Ozil continued, he pauses, stares at me with his dark brown eyes. I stare back like two boxers at the stare down before the first round. He shows no emotion, just waits for a response from me. How much I hate him right now. And I love Mourinho actually. So that attitude issue has always been one of my biggest concerns over whether Ozil would fit United. On his day, Ozil was a fantastic player. But for me, he's one of those luxury number 10s, the one that doesn't track back. You saw Marcus Rashford at left back running 60 metres to get a slide tackle in. You'd never see Ozil doing that. On his day, like when Arsenal beat United 3-0 at the Emirates, Ozil got a goal and an assist in the first 20 minutes. Simply unplayable. But would that happen at United? Would Ozil become that luxury player, the one that just you know, drags his arms when things aren't going for him, the one that frustrates fans because he's not 100% committed to the team effort, would that really suit United? And would that really suit Mourinho's style? So what I want to know from you, I'm going to keep my opinion, no, I say my opinion somewhat here, I'm going to do a separate video on whether I think that we should move for Ozil, but let me know whether you think Manchester United should make a move for free agent Ozil. We can negotiate an agreement in January and bring him in the summer for free or try and sign him in January for a small fee. If that was the case, how much would you pay for Ozil? That's it for the full story video. As always, if you're new, 
please click that subscribe button, join the channel, join the community, love having you all involved. If you want, share the video, like it, do whatever you can to help us grow. Until next time, our feed is in.